Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube. We're going to be talking about the Aries new moon today, which I'm always excited to talk about new and full moons. It always feels really good to sit and just chit chat with you and vibe out, but I can just feel the breath of fresh air and this kick that the universe is giving us right now. I feel like some of us kind of need it. Like low key, I'm inviting it into my life. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Aries energy with a new moon and the way that the planets are all aligned with Pluto in Capricorn, Saturn in Aquarius, Jupiter in Aquarius, Neptune in Pisces, Mars moving through Gemini, just doing the absolute most out there. Just the absolute most. It is all of the friction that we've ever needed in order to shoot our shot. That's what I'm gonna call it. It is encouraging in the way that it says, if there is ever a time to believe in yourself and to put yourself out there or to launch the business, the brand, ask someone out or do whatever, or honestly, Whatever is for your highest and greatest good. Now, I know that as a spiritual being and when we come to the YouTube world, you know, we want to kind of like look to people that we respect or look to other astrologers and, and ask them specifically, you know, tell me exactly where it is that I can see this or tell me exactly what it is that I should do or where I should move. But the most beautiful thing about that is that you can answer those questions for yourself by sitting and visualizing or asking the universe or asking the divine to visualize, okay, what do you want for me? What do you see for me? What are the next steps? And all of that can be confirmed within your astrology chart. But first, it's gotta come from the feeling. I believe that it has to be that feeling, that, that intuitive push that says, this is for me. When we have ir irritation in the planets like we do right now, with Saturn squaring off with Uranus, Pluto squaring off with this new moon, Mars squaring off with Neptune, irritation found within the planets is a big door swinging open to invite us to step outside of our current limiting comfort zones. If it wasn't for the irritation, we would stay put. If it wasn't for how uncomfortable we are, we would be okay with accepting you know, the status quo and not feeling like we have to do anything in order to make a difference. And that's what it is that I'm seeing right now. Aries is big time about leadership. It's really about following your own, you know, hunch. The thing is, is that Aries realizes no matter what your zodiac sign, no matter what your rising sign, sun, moon, rise, it doesn't matter. We're all under these same in energies. We're all under the same umbrella influence, right? But Aries energy, when you look at that area in your chart, it says, whatever the risk is, I'm going to go seek it. I'm going to do this for the reward, regardless of the risk. And some of you guys, well, a lot of you guys, what I'm seeing is this hyper focus on selfishness, right? I can say very confidently, I feel like 97.8%, and that's a very specific percentage, but that's how I feel. 97.8% of you guys have to put this energy into yourself, to pull it back into yourself. I'm seeing it also in your comments. I'm seeing it on the post that is that you guys are tagging me on on Instagram. I'm seeing it in your, your tweets at me on Twitter. I'm seeing it in your emails. I'm hearing it with when I talk to my friends, when I talk to my family, and when I talk to the divine within my sacred space. All of the energy right now says, let's put the energy selfishly back into us. And the reason why it's not selfish and the reason why it's not self-indulgent is because we're gonna access and enter into this awesome alignment with, with the divine, with higher consciousness, with the universe. And we're gonna receive and download inspiration. The other thing that's coming through is grace. There are things and aspects, big time of forgiveness right now. There are, are aspects of our lives and our journey that we are going to give ourselves grace for and compassion for and kindness and consideration. Instead of like beating yourself up, you say, well, this is why I did it. You know, this is why I, this is why this is my answer. This is why I said no, this is why I said yes. This is why I needed to do this. And we embrace ourselves under the light of the, the divine, under the light of the higher power, under the light of the universe. And we are held in so much kindness and love and compassion and consideration and understanding. And that is everything that you need to receive right now. And I feel that so strongly. 
at the light, uh, under the light or the lack of light for this new moon. It's a space for you to sit down into and surrender into and to selfishly plug into this energy that is raining down on all of us. I truly feel that. Again, if it wasn't for the irritation of these planets, some of you guys have been mentally beating yourself up or some of you guys have been physically tackling some obstacles that don't even logically make sense for a human being to take it, take on it. But you've been doing it, you've been striving. You, it's like you're on a canoe kind of paddling upstream and it's your belief alone or your needs of you know, survival. And this is why it's so imperative that at the time of the, the, the new moon, April 11th, 2021, 1031 PM Eastern Standard Time, and you better believe I'm gonna be at my altar setting intention. Because like I said before, you guys, it's not just you, it's not just them, it's all of us, myself included. There are aspects that even in my own sacred space, in my own meditation, you know, thank God, I'm allowed to sit and be embraced by this spirit, to be embraced by this loving energy and to feel empowered once again and to know that I'm on the right path. And if it wasn't for me taking that time out for myself, I wouldn't feel the confirmation and I wouldn't receive the clarity and I also wouldn't receive the guidance that would be navigating my step, steps as I move forward. We would have to be uncomfortable first before we are invited into this portal, before we're into the energy space that we're in right now. It is the biggest gift, the biggest blessing. So, I mean, that's short and sweet. I mean, that's seven minutes. I didn't think I was gonna make this video so short, but I mean, that's that's what I have to say about new moon. It's going to be very powerful. If you feel called to, absolutely pull up your natal chart and definitely see what Aries rules within your, within your chart, what area of your life it rules, because that's one aspect, believe me, one aspect of where this energy is being infused. But outside of that, or in addition to that, I really, really wanna call you guys into sitting in your sacred space or putting on your sunglasses, putting on a sun sun hat and kind of canceling out the noise of the world. That's the other thing too. Some of you guys are gonna have to step away from social media for maybe three days. Three days is a number of blessing. I don't know if you guys have realized that, three or seven. If you can stay in a space of, of you know s sacred energy or disconnect in three days, or if you can do seven, I guarantee you, you will invite a massive miracle into your life. Please let me know how this message resonates. Please let me know if you're emotionally stirred by this. If you are emotionally feeling this, if you get emotionally, if you get emotional while listening to it, it's because your spirit recognizes it and is answering that call. And I truly, truly feel that. I feel it like as I'm talking to you guys now, I have chills, all right? So thank you guys so much. I know this video is short, sweet, and to the point. But when spirit speaks, it speaks, and then I just deliver the message. Hashtag Virgo vibes. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.